Howdy, for this video we're going to look at some of the things that you can do with dynamic active effects as well as MIDI quality of life and also utilizing the dynamic active effects SRD. So with this one we are going to use uh, one of my player characters. He uh, will occasionally cast invisibility. Uh, so one of the benefits of invisibility is you can move around the field and whenever you attack you get advantage on your attack and any attack rolls against you grant disadvantage. So this requires a little bit of setting up, but once it's done, it, uh, it makes a really cool effect. So we'll look at his character sheet and we'll look at his spell of invisibility and we'll see how we get started. So when you use this spell, I already have some effects set up. The best way and easiest way to do this would be when you have an item and you go to your spells and you look for invisibility you import it and you go to your items and on here you can modify it and do whatever you need to do for it so it's gonna have zero effects on here whoops I'm closing it on accident it's gonna have zero effects but allow you to be able to create some new effects so one thing that I do for this to make sure that it turns off the way it's supposed to so whenever you make an attack roll per the ruling of the spell whenever you make an attack the spell ends so you can go down to the special duration tab right here and you can actually choose to end the thing to expire on one attack after you actually expires on the next attack made by the character so for the effects uh, we're going to create three effects another thing that you can do too uh, is the Dynamic Active Effects SRD does have some spells that are already pre-done. So if you look at the spells list, you'll see, and if you scroll down, you see Invisibility. So Invisibility on this one, uh, it already has some effects, but the only effect it has is it calls on a macro. So that's, that's all this does. So you can use this as a base to be able to get this effect, but that's the only thing it's going to do for you. So what I usually do is I will get the effects that I know what's going to do. So there's a there's a website that I'll link in the description that is linked with MIDI Quality of Life and Dynamic Active Effects to be able to create macros. So to show you what I have on mine that's already done, which I have to click on the top here, what I have it set up is to automatically give me advantage on my attack rolls and to cause disadvantage to my enemy whenever they try and attack me and then I did use the other one as a base to be able to do invisibility at my at myself also there is a other macro that is in the macros down here for the SRD macros there's an invisibility one which is that's linked to the invisibility spell which I drag down to my bar down here and as simple as just dropping it in and once you have that that's what will target uh, per the spell it when it asks to target invisibility that's the macro that it's targeting so if you want to use mine as an example to fill it out you can that way um, or I'll give you of course the the website so that you can copy and paste the stats that you need here so for the you needed to do override one to make the enemies grant disadvantage and then just add one for advantage for yourself so once all that's set up we will actually kind of see this in action so first things first you have to target yourself but let's actually do this from the player's perspective so I'm on my player right now so he is going to target himself he's going to cast a spell invisibility um, of course I realized I had another person targeted. So you're going to cast a spell invisibility. It will ask you to use spell slot. If it does, it automatically applies the effect. He already went hidden. And now he can move around the map freely. And the enemy will have no idea where he's at. And it will even show you in the chat window that the character turned invisible. So while on the combat tracker, we'll go ahead and roll initiative for him and we'll roll initiative for our other guy here and we will end that guy's turn and it's his and then back to the character's turn 
So if he wants to target this guy, go back to the player, he will go to his spells. One of his favorite things to do since it being a warlock is to cast Eldritch Blast. So whenever he casts Eldritch Blast, i got to make sure I target somebody, he will attack. And he got to roll advantage because he is invisible. It already did that. And so when he rolled his attack, it did the five damage, and boom, he reappeared. The only thing I haven't been able to figure out exactly is to remove the concentration portion of the spell, but that's as simple as just taking the concentration off, and then it's done. And that's pretty much it for invisibility. Uh, once it's set up, it it's, creates a really cool effect, and it automatically does the advantage, and then it makes your character reappear after they do an attack. Another fun thing that you can do is to create some effects on characters, such as Fire Shield. So... For my other character here, of course, I have him on the wrong one. So, with him, I do Fire Shield, and I have some effects for this as well. And, of course, I always click the wrong section. You go to your effects, and this one is as simple as just activating two different macros. So, for this one, I have a Fire Shield macro that is also provided by the uh, SRD macros. The Fire Shield is this one right here that you get in the SRD macros. You drop that one down onto the bar, and then the other one is a token effect, a token magic effect. So to do that one, you can go to token magic, and it is under your default, or at least for me. Uh, and we're going to go down to token magic. I always lose it in everything. There's so many of them. Where did you go? All right, token magic, token magic. Of course, this always happens. Let's see, token magic, here we go. So for this, you can create an effect around the character. So I like to do usually something simple. When me and my player, we discussed what he liked and which effect he wanted to use. So he actually liked this lava field, this lava zone, uh, the way it looked. He liked the appearance of it. So all you would do is you would drag this down to the bar and close this one out and close this one out for the moment and we'll get this one out of the way. And so for this one, you do have to edit it a little bit. So you have to change the name to something that's just a single word if you want it to target the macro the correct way. So I have it just set to lava. So I have the macro name as lava so that way it doesn't get it confused. And so when I do that, it will toggle both the lava macro and the fire shield macro. The fire shield macro is nice because it's already pre-coded to generate a fire shield and give you cold resistance. And if you pick the cold shield, it will automatically give you the fire resistance. So I like using this macro in conjunction with this, and then it creates a nice cool effect. So now we will demonstrate it. So our guy here will target himself. Let me untarget this guy. He is going to cast Fire Shield, going to use a spell slot, and I will choose whichever one I wanted to do. So we will click on his character so you can see how it adds. So right now he has zero resistances to his card, so we'll pick the cold one. So and boom, now it just added the fire resistance and it'll even designate in the combat checker that he gained fire resistance. And once this effect ends, and the spell is done, he'll actually lose the fire resistance. So, but that's pretty much it. It's some nice cool things that you can do with dynamic active effects and mid quality of life. I really like the effects. It really kind of adds a little bit extra flavor to the game and makes for some uh, cool visual effects if nothing else. But if you have any questions about anything, just let me know and I'll be sure to help you as much as I can. In the meantime, you have a good day.